Welcome to the ISDA photo monitoring training video. This video will cover how to complete and submit the Survey123 monitoring form for the ISDA photo monitoring program. For information about staging and capturing the photos, please see the separate ISDA video covering that topic. To begin entering information into the form, please select the appropriate year's form on Survey123 and hit collect. You will first enter your name as observer. The date and time are set as an autofill. All you need to do is click on the bar and the information will be input automatically. If the site you are monitoring is already part of the ISDA program, it will be available from the autocomplete list and the other site identification parameters such as allotment name, pasture, land ownership, field or district office, and the site coordinates will be automatically input. Next we will be using the GPS location tool within the app. To do so, make sure that the map is centered on your current location and then press the crosshair icon to drop the location pin. The next section is for vegetation identification. This list is set up with checkboxes for some of the most common species. If there is a plant present that is not on the list, then select the other box and a text box will open allowing you to type the plant or plants into that box. For the dominant species sections, you will need to identify the two most dominant plant species at the monitoring location. For instance, this site is dominated by squirrel tail and Wyoming sagebrush. Note that a separate text box is available for specifying the specific species of sagebrush. Next is common species. This is where you will input any other plant species you can identify from the site. This does not need to be an exhaustive list. You only need to record plants that you can positively identify. Common names are acceptable. Next is the livestock use information. First state whether the monitoring is being done pre, post, or during livestock use, or if the area is being rested. You then enter the dates of livestock use. This does not need to be a very accurate as those will not be used for any billing purposes and only serve as a reference for the rest of the data. Next move on to the disturbance and wildlife use sections. These are set up with check boxes for some of the most common occurrences. If there is something else present other than what is listed, you may click on Other to open a text box to input that information. For the next section, you will need to refer back to the site notes and pictures from previous years. Take a look at what is shown in the pictures from previous years and compare it to the conditions on the ground in front of you. This is a qualitative assessment of vegetation cover. After comparing the pictures to current conditions, select Increase, Decrease, Static, or None. Repeat this process for perennial grasses, shrubs, and biotic soil crust sections. The last portion of the notes before taking photos is shown here as Other Notes. Here you will describe anything noteworthy about the monitoring location to include the current year's weather pattern. For example, this site experienced a cold, wet spring followed by unusually hot, dry summer. You may also add justification for your selections made in the annual grass, perennial grass, shrub, and biotic soil crust sections above. You will also note if there has been any change in the management techniques. For the initial year the site is in the cooperative monitoring program, this is where the site location will be described. The final portion of the form involves capturing the monitoring photos. This step will be covered in a separate video. After completing the form, review it for completeness. Then click on the check at the lower right of the screen to submit. You will see three submission options, Send Now, Continue the Survey, and Save an Outbox. If you have enough service to submit, then select Send Now. If not, then select Save an Outbox. With this option, you will wait until you have adequate internet connection, then return to your outbox and click Send. This completes your ISDA cooperative photo monitoring form. Remember that several sections have other boxes that open text boxes for extra information. Only answer questions to the best of your ability. Misinformation is worse than no information. There are several sections with a red asterisk. These are required sections. If you have any questions about the form or the photo monitoring program, please reach out to the range staff at the Idaho State Department of Agriculture.